a good percentage of people will not accept an offer with a company that doesn't have intentional DEI programs and initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Pastor. All right. Okay, so... Pre uh, preach on, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a few things. If, if DEI works anywhere, it has to work everywhere. When moral law stands alone and, and DEI initiatives are be based upon that, somebody gets to pretend that they are God. That's Dr. Phil and Pastor James Ward destroying a smug DEI advocate on live television. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. And it seems like Dr. Phil has been on a bit of a tear lately. He's owning Bill Maher on the importance of families, he's shredding the view over the lockdowns, and now he's tearing these race-obsessed weirdos a new one. Not too bad for a guy who got a start on Oprah. Some demographics come to the table and have to overcome racism, unconscious bias, misogyny. Uh, and so how do we help level the playing field for everyone? Okay, so... That means you're trying to create a quality of outcome. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear you saying okay. about playing God. Yeah. How, do you, how do you create a quality of outcome uh, when people well, aren't you... the same? You're right. Some people are shorter. Some yep. people are taller looking over that fence. They can't both play in the NBA. Right. You can't create a quality of outcome. What gives a DEI program the right to come in and, and try and alter the, the nature of things to create a quality of outcome. So, That's been tried. That didn't work. That was called Marxism. That was called Marxism. And that kind of nonsense word salad the woman is spewing is prevalent on college campuses everywhere. I mean, I remember the disappointment and shock I felt when I was in grad school and realized that I wasn't actually learning anything and that the only way to succeed is knowing the key buzzwords and phrases your professors cared about so that you could pepper them in reports that you plagiarized just enough so you wouldn't get caught. It's essentially how modern day journalists behave. Now, the fact that more and more prominent voices are speaking out against DEI should be a bit of a white pill. Everything they touch turns to crap, entertainment is tanking, lawsuits are being filed, and people are genuinely getting fed up, which led Elon Musk to say this. Well, I, I think DEI is starting to fade. First of all, <laughs> uh, DEI is actually illegal because it, it discriminates on the basis of, of race, sex, uh, uh, sexual preference, and, and, and all, other, all sorts of other things. Th that is actually illegal. You know, it's, it's got, they've managed to get this illegal thing in place. But now we're starting to see um, a large number of lawsuits saying, no, actually, the law says you cannot discriminate on the basis of sex, uh, you know, sexual identity and uh, race. You know, so I think we'll, I, th I think DEI is on its last legs. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be removed because it's illegal, actually. Well, let's all hope that's true because equality of opportunity and meritocracy need to make a comeback in this country. It's nice that we want to help people, but this current system of pretending that we're all interchangeable widgets is not working and is particularly dangerous for complex systems. You know, it's one thing to add DEI to jobs no one cares about, but when you start doing it with professions like medicine, civil engineering, and law, things can get ugly pretty quick. Just ask the FAA. But let me know what you think. Are the proponents of DEI well-intentioned dopes or bitter Marxists? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!